All right, we're going to do a draft of things in the 90s. Yes, and it could be anything, anything at all, but it has to be from that decade, from our childhood. So David and I were both born right before the 90s, and we grew up throughout the So this is basically all the stuff that cultivated in, in our, our childhood. Uh, well, I'm going to start us off. You can tell them we're old. You can tell them we're old. We're 80s what, babies. I don't want to say that. Um, That's all right. Well, yeah, go for, ahead and start us off. For me, my number one, Nickelodeon. I mean, that is that is it. That is my childhood, Nickelodeon. That's so it. That, that's, that was, that's a good one. That was an easy one for me, without a doubt. That's on the list. Um, just remember, this isn't just your childhood. This is just all-time greats. Not that, that that's not a spectacular answer. Oh, I get it, but I'm also drafting for, for me, right? So, like, right. Well, what lineup would I want if I'm knowing it? Yeah. You know, I get there's stuff that might be okay. above some of this, but I I think we'll be okay. right. No, that was that was high on the list. And with the first round pick, I'll go with the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> okay, just with their uh three Super Bowls. Okay. Now here's the thing though, were you a Cowboys fan in the nineties? I know your dad was. Of course I was. Okay. I remember watching the ninety five Super Bowl. Okay. But it doesn't matter. I'm a fan now and they were awesome <laughs> then. I am I, it's your draft. I'm cool. I was just one. I was just one. Uh, all right, well, my number two, it kind of coincides in a way. Uh, don't take it. But this That's was my, my next pick. Don't, this was don't do it. My don't, huge don't part. Don't do it. Blockbuster. Okay, you didn't do it. I, I didn't do I it. I had that on the list. Okay, Blockbuster is my number two <laughs> pick because we went at least once a week, made sure that those VHSs were reround before you returned them, and, and when you went to that wall, the new movie that came out, and they were all sold out, you go up to the counter and you say, yeah. Uh, you say, hey, do you have anything in the return pile over there? Do you have, do you have any Independence Day over there? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you have any Star Wars Episode One? Yep. Yep. A thousand percent. Okay. Cool. I like that. Yeah, that was on, I had that on the list as well. I'm happy with it. I'm going to go with my number two pick is Pokemon cards. Okay. I also had that on my list. That was up there. Or Pokemon in general will we'll fully encompass the games, the cards, the show, yeah. everything. Huge part of our elementary into middle school was was uh was pokemon which i remember you telling me the story of your dad telling you oh these aren't gonna amount to anything it's just a, a fad you know that kids are going through and uh look at the multi-billion yeah, right dollar we and, right right before we went and saw detective pikachu right yeah yeah we sure did uh-huh yeah that's uh yeah that's a big one i mean we had the games we had the cards um i the sad part about my cards is I don't know, parents don't know what happened to them, but they are all Gen 1, great cards worth a yeah. lot of money nowadays. That makes two of us. I'm sure they probably went to Goodwill or something like that, and somebody made a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Right. Someone doesn't have to shop at Goodwill anymore. Well, now now I'm in a little bit of a bind, because um, that, was, that was getting there for me. But with my third overall pick, uh, you, can, you can see the theme I'm kind of sticking with here. Mine is going to be um, watching TGIF every Friday night. And that was, oh gosh, Full House, um, Step by Step, Family Matters. <laughs> oh gosh. It's been a while. You can't tell, but that was, yeah. that was, that was the, no matter what was happening on a Friday, we were sitting <laughs> down from six to nine watching. Watching that. Every week. Right. Every week. Yep. Mm-hmm. Every week. All right. With my third round pick, I'm going to take Nintendo 64. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of upset. I'm you about got that. to. Is kinda, that on the list? Kind of upset you took that. Yeah, that's there. All okay. right. Yeah. Wow. Good one. That's a real good one. Kind of jealous you have that. Um, yeah. I'm taking it and I'm running with it. So I got two more, huh? Two more. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to go with uh, with Goosebumps, my number four. Oh. I was a big okay. goose, Goosebump. You know, had the books. The book fair would come to school, get some books from there, some Goosebumps. And I had dozens. I mean, dozens and yeah. Now, did you did you do the show too, or just the books? Uh, the show, the the movies, I guess. Yeah, the movies they scared me a little bit as a kid. Yeah, Uh, I did. Understandable. The um, on VHS, I had the girl who couldn't take the mask off her her face. Uh, It was like a green monster mask. Um, And then I also had the one where there was that plant in the basement that would eat eat you, or yeah, that. Suck that you took in the form of her her dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would only That's watch the one those. I, I think that with, was the only one with like the lights on, and it was in the middle of the day. 
my right. parents were home, you know. Um, yeah, so going Goosebumps, number four. Going Goosebumps. All right, I like it. I didn't have that one on my list, and I'm a little upset <laughs> that I did not. All right, with my fourth round pick, I'm going to go with AIM, AOL Instant Messenger. So I had AOL on there. I don't know if I used it as much in the 90s as I did the 2000s, but it was definitely, we had AOL. You got that disc every few months, right. 4.0, 4.1, 5.0, 6.0, yep. and it would show up in the mail. Well, yeah, I guess now that you mentioned it, I don't know that I used AIM a whole lot anyway, so we'll just go with all-encompassing AOL. That yeah. was the internet, basically. Yeah, yeah. We'll go with the, inter- the internet. <laughs> the I think internet. it was new enough that we could <laughs> that we could just call that the classification. I'm good with that. Okay. Um, well, with my last pick, it wasn't it wasn't hard. I had to go with my Baltimore Ravens, founded in 1996, staying strong. Mm, and okay. I see. I see what you're doing there. So that was. But were they good then? Absolutely not. They were garbage. Here, so um, you're knocking down your draft a little bit with that one. But then five years later, Super Bowl champs, baby. Well, I guess I'll stick in the sports realm. Oh. Okay. And I think it's it's hard. It's hard not to be crowned with this one. You know. with my last pick, I'm going to take Michael Jordan. Okay. I mean, that's, uh, he's the goat of goats. So, I mean. Right. Not the, I don't want to say not the biggest fan. Didn't follow him much, but it's. Iconic. Hard to dispute that one. Right. Yeah. Probably one of the greatest things to ever happen in the 90s. Yeah. That's a good one. That's really good. What did you, did you have any honorable mentions? Anything you almost said or uh, any, any backups in case I stole something? So I was between Goosebumps and Harry Potter. Okay. I thought about going Harry Potter, but I didn't think it was prevalent enough in the 90s to well, sure, I, sort of pull it as, as much as Jordan did. Yeah, and that's fair. I wouldn't either. Um, Harry Potter, in fifth grade, I, I read that. So that I remember that. And that was in the 98-ish, 99, give or take. I also had Eating Inside of a Pizza Hut, which was big. Which you can still do, I believe. Uh, yeah. I think they're you probably you know, wouldn't, but few and far between. But I mean, we're talking right. packed house every every weekend night or after a baseball <laughs> game or something. I mean, packed to get into pizza. So every, that was big, right? Everybody stuffing up before going home and watching TGIF. That's it. Um, I also had boy bands, which is oddly enough, I put that you know Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, all of them, and then my last one was the Game Boy. I was a big Game Boy player. Okay. Surprised you didn't rebuttal the N64 with that one. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't even think of it. I, uh, yeah, that one, that was written down in front of you? Not N64. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean, rebuttal the N64 with the Game Boy uh, as your next one. Yeah, pick. but the others were just more, uh, iconic to right. me, I guess, you know? Okay. So some of them that I had were the Power Rangers. Thought about it. I had Toy Story. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. I had Pogs. Oh, man. I would have, I might have taken Pogs if I thought of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never played them. Collected them. Had, God, probably hundreds, but. Did you have those, this big, like the acryl- tubes? Acry- acrylic tubes, yeah. Uh-huh. To store them in, right. Absolutely. Yep, sure did. Mm-hmm. And then my last one was, and I, I'm a little upset I didn't take it. It was just having no responsibilities. That's a good one. You should have taken that one. Yeah. That's a good one. I feel like I could have started with that and everything else would have been irrelevant. Well, I thought about those were, those were the days. I thought about Ravens at number one, uh, but then once you took Cowboys, I was like, "Yeah, I'll wait," because I right. had to, I had to take them regardless. Yeah, I definitely went more of the what was my '90s top five as opposed to I think yours. I mean, yours had some, but I think yours was also like you said, iconic '90s, right? Without a doubt, Just all yeah. all time great things. Well, not to say the stuff that I said wasn't iconic, but Ravens is a little biased. Right. They weren't quite yet iconic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that was good. I like that. That was fun. 